Welcome back to another video. I have gone and bought myself another BA XR6 Falcon. This one is just going to be pretty much just a fixer upper. I'm going to fix it up, get it all off ridge. It's been sitting for about a year. Um, and uh, well, yeah, I'm just going to fix her up, get it all off ridge. And uh, well, I'll daily it for a little bit. And then when it sells, it sells. I got it on um, some FG honeycombs, these ones quite nice the front tires are pretty mint the rears are i think they're pretty mint too but that one's got a nail in it so i might end up replacing both of them i'm not too sure but uh yeah now she's just a bit of a fixer upper she's um she's not too bad she's a bit rough on like what well, she's a bit dirty on the inside she's got some shitty old floor mats and i don't know she's just dirty um i don't know the seat's all right, still comfy, but, you know, she's getting holes and whatnot, and maybe I'll replace them if I can be bothered, but other than that, other than that, I'm just going to give her a good hoover out, good clean. Came with a dish, dash mat, which is nice. Um, I bought, well, here's some of it, but carpet cleaner, uh, some new floor mats, they're just some fucking shitty ones from the warehouse, but I don't know, they're, they're all right. They do the job done, they look half decent, better than these fucking... Oh shit, that get, I mean I bought a three pack of new car seats, I've got one sitting up the back here and I'll get the other two out later. Uh, I'm going to swap the uh, cup holder to a BF one, I have this one, it just doesn't have the other insert, this is not, uh, better than the old BA one, I find, but other than that, I don't know, I've got all my cleaning stuff, and uh, oh, I'll show you, <laughs> alright, so I'm up with the steering, so I'm going to I have, well, <laughs> I got a new steering rack. I have a low K territory power steering pump that I'm gonna put in. It doesn't need it, but I'm just gonna put it in. It's got, a, I got a pretty much brand new alternator that was on BAF when I first got it. So I'm gonna put that on, that on, and put the steering rack in. Uh, the steering rack only has like 170,000 Ks. This, like I said, I think it only had like 2,000 Ks by the time I took it off. There's a bunch of shit in the back, which the last owner didn't take out, but <laughs> batteries are worth a little bit of money, so it doesn't bother me. Um, oh yeah, door actuator, I got I got a bunch of them, but yeah, the pasture ones buggered, so I gotta fix that. And the previous owner, yeah, there's no boot carpet, but that's easy enough to get from pickup art, and then there's just a bunch of rubbish in the back. Other than that, she's not too bad. Just, uh, I don't know. Just your typical fixer upper. She's got all her door handles, unlike fucking some of these fucking things. Some people are real rough on these. Um, I've got, I'm just gonna polish the headlights. And then I have fog lights that were in bath, but one was broken, like got a crack in it, and it still worked fine. But I'm gonna polish the headlights, take for a waffle, and then I'll chuck in them um, fog lights. It's got the uh, bottom center grill, which, I never had a Falcon with one, so it's nice. Uh, the worst part about it is probably the paint fade. Oh, I'm trying to fill the one hand. Paint fade on the hood. And, uh, other than that, I think I might be able to get one from Pick Apart. Under the hood, it's actually not too bad. The worst part is obviously just a bit leaky of the power steering pump, which, you know, I got one anyway, so uh, not too bad, but it sits around the first mark on the. Um, on the temp gauge, it's got a full factory exhaust. Sorry, it's a bit hard. <laughs> right, I film it with one hand. Uh, I bought brand new hood struts. Um, they're just on back order. And then I bought, it only had the key, but I bought a brand new fob. So that's, I'll be getting that. And there was one other thing that was on back order. I can't remember what it was. Um, but other than that, I've just got, I'm gonna chuck in a set of new, brand new plugs oil filter for it now that one's for bath brand new fuel filter cabinet filter um there's some oil i have more on my toolbox over there um this for the power steering fluid and then i had this for another vehicle that i had that i got fucked over with yeah i won't say anything about that that's supposed to be off enough it is as it is but i have your yeah, buddy <laughs> five liters of this but i i bought both of them but i only need one i'll do I think it's only 1.8 litres for the diff. And then I've got bought a bit of pump because I mean, I do this so much, so I might as well. But just your typical full service. The brakes, are, they're all mint on it, so I'm not gonna worry about doing the brakes. 
I don't know, just, uh, it's just a nice fixer upper. It's nothing too hard, just I might, uh, it, it doesn't bother me too much. It'd be nice if it wasn't uh, clear coat coming off, but I might be able to get a hood from Pick Apart possibly. And uh, I don't know, the other worst parts about it are probably just, uh, you know, your typical headliner sag, and then I need to go to Pick Apart and get another one of these because some um, rough bastard broke the tabs off that, so it's annoying to put your seatbelt on. Um, I don't know. Other than that, just needs a good service tidy up. If you're wondering how much I paid, I won't give you specifics, but I paid under three grand for this, which is pretty good, I reckon, because um, like I've seen some shitty skid hacks and uh, green sticked, pink sticked shit boxes for like two and a half, and um, this one's just been. Well, I mean, you could tell it hasn't been skidded. It's probably been skidded, but not the skidded to shit because the mud flaps are all normally gone and the end of guard because that's held in by bugger all. Those will be gone if it's been skidded a bunch and if it's really been skidded, the rear lip will be gone. <laughs> but, um, nah, just needs a little bit, maybe a little bit of a polish on the roof side. Um, like I said, I might try get another hood, hopefully. But, yeah, she's just your typical, well, I don't know, typical these days, most of them are raped, but for me, uh, it's just your typical Falcon. Nothing too serious. Just a um, nice project car, plus, well, I only, long story short, my only other car is Beth, and um, I've had to daily that, and I, well, my mum wasn't, well, my parents weren't too happy about me just buying another car straight away, but I don't want to be daily in Beth. <laughs> for, well, I don't know, probably a month or two while I saved, because, well, in the end, I'm trying to save up, and I'm trying to buy a nice second-gen manual surf. I'll just tell you that. That's as much as I'll tell you. You'll just have to wait until I get one. <laughs> but um, I bought this in the meantime, so I have a nice daily, and I'll have it on Facebook, and once it sells, it sells, and then I'll just go back to daily and bath which I'm still doing at the moment because this one's obviously been sitting for over a year. Uh, Ridge is on hold, but <laughs> the registration expired last year. But anyway, I'll get to work. Oh, welcome back. It's another day, another dollar. Um, I mean, I've done pretty much everything um, mechanical-wise. I'll catch you up. So I've done, obviously, oil change, filter, fuel filter, and then... I did a brand new, well, a uh, good second-hand steering rack that I've had for ages. It only has 172,000 Ks on it. A low K power steering pump, I'm not too sure on the Ks exactly. Um, and then it's got a brand new, it's a bit hard to see, brand new alternator that originally came on my Falcon when I got it. Um, I think it only had like 2,000 Ks on it, but yeah, whatever, still brand new. And, uh, well, I haven't done yet, but I'm going to do... If I get round to it, I'm just going to clean the interior first today. Um, valve cover gasket and spark plugs. I was going to do them the other day, but I noticed the valve cover was leaking around the spark plug holes. So I'm like, I don't really want to chuck them in just yet. I thought I'd just bloody chuck the coil back in and just go get a valve cover gasket. Uh, got a brand new K&N air filter. I've water blasted the engine bay. I don't know if you can tell. Got a bunch of sludge and shit off and just brake clean the shit out of it. I don't know. I'm making a mint because it is going to be my daily and uh, well, I mean I already had literally all that shit sitting around so <laughs> might as well. Um, at the moment I am just, uh, I went to pick apart yesterday and got boot carpet because I can't remember if I said doesn't have any and then I got a hood so no more clear coat peel just a bit of fade but I'll give that a polish anyway. Interior. Um, I think I showed you already. It's, she's just a bit dirty. I took out the this is bloody shitty carpet. It's got some Samsung thing under the seat. I don't, I'm not too sure what that is. I'm just gonna not touch it and just clean up. She's a bit filthy. She's she's better than the well, Beth was because Beth was fucking um, <clears throat> all the headliner, all the uh, yellow stuff just falls onto there, and it's just a bit of a pain to clean. Um, and Beth had been sitting and in, in well under a tree so a lot of moisture and it got real moldy on the inside 
Um, so she's a bit better. I mean, mind you, when I cleaned bath, I had it all torn apart, so I could, uh, well, I had the carpet out and all that, so I cleaned it. I got carpet clean here, and I'm just gonna give it a good spray, let it soak in, and, uh, well, I'm gonna vacuum it first, then I'll give it a good spray, and then, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna clean it to the best of my ability. I've got a bunch of my car cleaning stuff, which I think I showed you. I don't know, I've had this shit sitting around for ages. I don't really use it much. <laughs> I just have it. But no, she's not too bad. The worst is, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't get how people can get their cars just eh, looking like this. It's disgusting. Um, oh, I can't remember if I showed you, but I also have the BF cup holder. BF cup holder. I got two new exhaust gaskets. So one's already in the middle there because I take that out to do, well, yeah, to do the steering rack. So I'll do this one for the rear, but I'm not going to do that till, um, well, I'm going to do, I don't know, I don't, I'm just going to delete the cat. Well, I have another section out back. I'll probably sell this section, but I have another bit that's got the cat that I'm pretty sure is hollowed out. And then it's got a resonator bit that someone welded on. And then, so I'm just going to delete the cat. We have a resonator stock middle muffler and then I'll delete the rear muffler and it should sound pretty good but not too annoying uh this is a chip I got for the Tiptronica bath try that again uh this is the old uh center console lid out of bath it's um I don't know, I I got a gear one because like I don't know when I'm whenever I'd get soaked and put my hand on here it'll just like get real sticky and so I got a le full leather one out of a gear um, so I don't have to worry about that because it's annoying and it just makes it look a bit me. Uh, yeah, the valve cover gasket, uh, the door actuators, um, not working properly on the passenger side, so luckily I have a ton of those. And then, yeah, I don't know, this is just the rubber bit for around the headlight that someone had taken out and left it in the back, back seat. But, uh, nah, I'm just cleaning her up, making her mint skin. I have, I have, uh, I don't know, someone hasn't done the number support I think probably they, I think they've done it in the middle but they haven't done it on the side so I have Baff's old one because I put a BF one on and I still have Baff's old one which was just a pull noodle to help that so and then so, uh, from looking underneath someone hadn't pushed in the that bit that locates it in the middle they haven't pushed it in properly and it's kind of just bent it so I'll take the bumper off um, and fix it and I'll get fog lights in after a waft and at, at the moment <clears throat> Today's plan is just to clean it, and I just gotta fix the steering wheel because we changed the rack and they didn't really seem to fix it. Like we straightened the wheel and then we just aligned it, but the wheel's still on a little bit of an angle. So I'm uh, from driving it and how when you turn the um, I notice when you're turning right, the indicators come off sooner with less turn and then the right uh, turning left. So someone hadn't put the wheel on like the thing probably so I gotta just four bolts and maybe unplug it or something and then just pull it off turn it put it back on I've done it before it's not too hard and then that'll be straight but now nah, she's driving way better with a new rack it was a bit weird it was bloody sketchy driving in the rain you wouldn't want to do over really 90 um but yeah I don't know. just giving her a clean day that's the mish so I'm just gonna get to work and uh uh, I'll give this a vacuum out and then I'll get the carpet cleaner. Make it nice and mint again. I guess, I don't know. Bracket for the bloody power steering. <clears throat> They've taken it off, I don't know why, but. Uh, anyway, I'll get to work and I'll show you. I don't know where I'm at, the results after. I'll probably. I'll pretty much just clean the whole thing, straighten the wheel, and. Well, then I want to book it in for an alignment. But today I'll probably yeah, do clean this, straighten the wheel, do the valve cover gasket. I'm just doing this while well, it cools down because I don't want to be doing it. I just drove it in here um, just yet, but I want to give it a clean because it smells like weed. And I mean, I've had like three air fresheners in here and it's, it's better. It's better than it was, but um, yeah, I've been wanting to give this thing a good hoover out for a while now. Make it nice to actually drive. So anyway, I'll get to the work and I'll... I'll show you the results after I've done all that.
day now the dollar. I yeah, sorry, <laughs> I've got to film. Oh, I always forget to film the aftermath of what I've done um, with that blue one, and I mean fucking everything else at this point. But uh, I thought I'd give you a break from that one and just give you an update on that. She, he, is uh, back to being turbo. I'll pop the hood in a minute because uh, it's got a few problems that need to be sorted. I haven't really dealt with them because. Well, I'm waiting on a couple things, plus it's my daily, so not much I can do at the moment. Um, plus I'm sorting out that uh, that blue one, trying to get that done quickly so I can daily that one, that's all, once that's all off the reach. Hopefully it's not too windy. Um, it's, always, it's always seemed to be windy lately since I'm, when I come down here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I'd throw on those cold start and revving that was me on the limiter she doesn't sound the greatest but it doesn't have a limited tune it's just you know, stock ECU no tune so um yeah it is what it is I never really put it on the limiter anyway <laughs> just thought I would since someone asked about it last <laughs> last video that was over a month ago <laughs> sorry for uh, the delays I've just been I don't know messing around to say the least but um I just came down here and had breakfast. I know, I'm bad. But uh, I finally in installed, I know they're <laughs> black and white. I, uh, because I had the, uh, I had the boost gauge. So I had this one for ages, same with the gauge pod. I had that for ages. And then for my birthday, I, was, I got some money. And I was like, oh, I'll finally buy another gauge so I can put them in. It's not hooked up to anything, but the boost gauge is hooked up, just no lights. And, uh, what was that? <clears throat> Super cheap? I'm like, I'm pretty sure the boost gauge is black too, so it is what it is. You know, so I, I could have taken it back and got uh, a white one, but I want the black one, and, well, it's yeah, way too late to take the boost one <laughs> back. But, uh, now nah, I'll fucking pop the hood and uh, show you what's wrong under there. Um, here's under the hood. Um, so, yeah, the oil pressure gauge. I was going to hook up, but I need to do a bunch of other stuff. So, first of all, for, uh, for ages, the transmission mount's been... I, I mean, I broke it. And I know <laughs> I thought I was going to have to replace it for a wasp, but I never said anything. So, I just forgot about it. <sighs> Sorry. Forgot about it. Um, oh, do I have another coolant leak? God damn it. Yep, leaking coolant under there by the seams of it. Yep. <coughs> Add that to the list of things to fix. <laughs> Yay. But, uh, yeah, transmission mount's been broken for ages. I've just been lazy about getting it done, but I have a brand new stock transmission mount in the back. And then my, my engine mounts, that one's fine. This one been blown out for a month or two now. And I thought, yeah, I better fix it because when you're on it, the you know the whole engine just comes up and the four-inch dump just comes up and hits the uh, the steering shaft, and well, then it makes it a pain in the ass to turn, especially when you're booting it around a corner or or you try to do skids, you know. So <laughs> I bought myself; they're already here, but I'll show you in the next video. I got me some tough mounts, um, and then another thing I noticed just this weekend that's been is my coolant tank has sadly cracked and uh, I, I got this one out of my grey beef that you would have seen at the start of the channel um, it was just in there it was just a bone stocky uh, six so I don't know why I had it but I just swapped stock coolant tank back into it stopped for mine but it has cracked I have just done a well yesterday <laughs> I just got some bubble gum and I'm like, oh, we'll just shove it in there for now. But I have bought a brand new coolant tank. And uh, other than that, it's got the exhaust bolts. Uh, mainly these ones that built the turbo to the actual manifold have come loose. I tightened the top ones as much as I could. But I think the, the bottom ones are loose. So I've ordered a stud kit for the actual manifold, the turbo, and then the dump as well because it's just all rusty hardware that I'm using I'm just using what I got and uh, so you've got stud kit for that on the way coolant tank on the way but I mean but I want the stud kit to arrive and then I'll take the whole turbo side off and then I'll do the engine mounts and then 
I do the transmission mount and then whenever that arrives that's like the easiest thing to swap out. It's sad, like, um, I don't know, I got it quoted and it was an old school mate and he said it was going to cost like 250 to 350 to fix depending on how hard. I'm like, oh, well, it's only like 300 bucks for a brand new one, so I just bought a new one in the end. I'll probably end up, I don't know, doing a sale, probably, I'll probably list it for sale for like 150 bucks and then someone who actually knows how to weld, you know, we can get yourself a nice tank for somewhat cheap because, well, I mean, these things go for three, if you like, I got mine off Aeroflow for like $300 and then this one's up to like $400. I'm not too sure which one this is, it's just, I already had it, so. Yeah, so she, she's got some problems. It's still, you know, running and driving. But yeah, she has a coolant leak, which I have to top up every day. I've just tried block, <laughs> blocking it with gum. <laughs> Call me hoary, but yeah. And then now I've just noticed it's leaking under here somewhere. I don't know, I can't, I can't feel it. Oh, it might be, hopefully it's not that, oh, it might be that. Yeah, I think it might be leaking from this pipe. I don't know. It doesn't look. Yeah, no, it's definitely dropping off. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really see anything. Can't see anything on camera either, so. That's another day. Because oh, I'll unhook that when I lift up the engine anyway, so. Don't worry about that. But I thought I'd just give you an update on Bath. It's back to turbo. Um, if you're wondering how the exhaust is set up, it sounds nice, just not on a limiter. So it's just yeah, the 4 inch dump to. Um, that's just reduced back to two and a half to well it's got uh, I, I i just used what i had at the time which goes from two and a half but like, yeah, four inch two and a half to it's like a three inch pipe which uh, I, I i'll admit it's a bit hoary but i use what i got and then it's just the big ball which is just factory but that comes over the back to yeah the big ball which i don't know i like it gives it a nicer tone because if you just had a straight pipe like i said it would be too raspy for my liking and shotgun tips they're cool but everybody runs them so big balls is my go um but yeah that's your update on bath i'm gonna go home and then i'll meet you back around the yard and i'll give you an update on the blue one and i don't know we'll see what I'll just catch you up to date on everything that's going on with that, and I'll probably, I don't know, I'll see, I'll, I'll yeah, go home, get that, go around the yard, and I'll update you on everything with that, but uh, no, that's your update with Beth, that's where it's at. Uh, scratch that, we'll just, uh, I'll just give you an update here, the uh, workshop's for at the moment, so I'll just save all the rest of the stuff, like working on Beth and finishing this off for another video just means I have more content rather than putting it in one big one so I'll just end it with me just giving you a big update on or everything done to this there's a lot I've done I think I might just I don't know I'll show you the interior might as well. She's, um, sorry for the wind I'm trying to get you out of it but yeah I mean the carpet's you know I've been driving it so she's a bit dirty I'll give it another hoo before she goes but um cleaned her out i've decided i'm not going to change the this and this this is fine it's not too bad i mean it's not the end of the world that i mean it works i, I was gonna swap out i haven't cleaned this properly but i'll clean it properly now i've cleaned everything else probably but i was gonna swap out this whole center console bit with another bit i had doesn't really need it but thought i might as well and then um i don't know just clean that. I've already been for a wash. There's a wash sheet. I will. Well, it doesn't need much. It was just a couple of bulbs. Well, one uh, license plate bulb and uh, the indicator light. Uh, um, front left light. There's just a wire. It's loose. I pushed it in. She's working again. Um, needs a front right shock, but I went to pick apart and got two shocks because they had king springs on them. So I'm like, I'll get both. It's only sixty bucks for the strut. So. Not too bad. And then, yeah, I've still got that, but I'll take that home. I'll end up, I haven't done it yet, but um, I don't know. So I've still got to do something to the exhaust. I don't know. It's still stock at the moment, but either way, I'll be throwing in a new gasket in the rear. But I want to do a rear muffler delete at least, and then delete the cat. 
or chucking that other bit that I had around the yard that I think the cat's hollowed out, can't confirm, but I don't know. But she's, you know, she's had my footprints in here just because I was cleaning all the windows. I could spend more money, but I'm already pretty deep in this thing, getting the headliner re redone. The cars, you know, other than that, she's pretty, she's pretty good. Um, now, if you remember what the boot looks like, she's got a bunch of shit in it now, but... It's not like it was before. <laughs> so, yeah, I've still got to do the valve cover gasket and spark plugs. Got to chuck these new front shocks in, which I got them just because they come with king springs. I got to just throw Baff's old support thing in. And this is just a bunch of shit that's. I've got like 18 coils or some shit and just some old um, caliper support brackets. And I changed the uh, door actuator so. That works, I've got brand new key fob. Um, so that's all mint and coated in. Nice carpet, giving it a clean. I've cleaned all underneath, it, was, it really wasn't that bad. This thing's actually super rust free for some that I've seen. Like, in the sun, the year with I'm guessing it might have, it's a bit hard to see where it might have rusted away, but they've, they've welded it, I don't know. It doesn't look rusty, if I was, not lazy, I'd probably, so I'll leave this up to the next owner if they want to, but I would just pop that off and just just tape it off and just paint it black. So it helps it rust, not rust again. Um, super clean around here, normally rust the air, rust under here. And then, yeah, and then, I don't know, for some reason this isn't pushing it properly, so it's rubbing against the air, so it's, a, yeah. It's pretty clean, like this is one of the cleaner ones that I've had. I've definitely had some pretty bad ones. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I got my, my one wheel spacer off my, my last mistake. <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about that. It's kind of depressing, really. My license plate, I don't know why it's loose, but I'll tighten that. But no, nah, I've just given it good clean. If you remember what it was like. Still need to give it a little bit more of a clean, but yeah, it was a little bit dirty, but nothing that can't cover up i don't know i gave, I gave it a good scrub there's a couple of little stains but i mean that my footprint will come out i've given the back good hoover luckily that from the headliner nothing really none of that um orangey yellow stuff has fallen down into it um i still need to give you clean i don't know i yeah <laughs> gave it a good clean and then i took it for a wash so it's, uh, it's a lot better than it was, I'll tell you that. But, um, yeah, she's a lot nice shinier. I took the dash mat off and cleaned all underneath there. And like I said, I still need to clean this, but it's still, I mean, I just gave it a little wipe down and a hoover over and suck some of the shit out of there, but nah, it's not good. It's got the, all the books and all that, which, I don't know, this, uh, they got it out of another car, but all these receipts in here are for this car. But all the actual manuals are for another Mark II BA. But it's good to just have the books either way. But yeah, I've just got to do the shocks. And there's just two bushes in the rear I've got to do for a waff. And then she's good. And then I, she will be all waffed. And then I can buy a reg. And then... I was going to do an alignment first, but I decided that, um, sorry, windy again, I decided against that because I knew, well, I didn't, I didn't know, I, I checked the ball joints at the front, they seemed good, I didn't really check the bushes in the back, because, to be honest, I normally just yeah, take time for a waff, and I just get, make them just give me the list of what to fix. <laughs> I have a rough look over if it's some something simple. I yeah, I, I took it and I forgot about <laughs> the shock being pretty much blown in, but blown out. But I was like, ah, whatever. If it's just that, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's that and then those lights which are already fixed, and then just a couple bushes, one on this side, one on the other side. So, well, I'm not too sure which ones it was. They said some, but like I just um, when I do the suspension on this, I'll jack it up, like have it on the hoist, and I'll be able to look. At which ones they meant because they marked it and then i'll order it and go down buy them replace them and uh well i'm hoping to have a waff on it 
probably yeah, next week at this stage. It is the 18th of September, I believe, today. Um, but, yeah. Nah, she's a good car. I haven't actually... She looks pretty clean, but I've actually... Uh, I've only cleaned the hood and then, like, water blasted the rest of it. I haven't actually given it a good scrub yet. <laughs> but for not really cleaning it properly, I still need to polish the headlights too. That's another thing I forgot to do before the waff. <laughs> Because I spent all day cleaning it, so I never did the valve cover gasket and the spark plugs. Uh, and then I, you know, I forgot about a bunch of shit, but I, I, I made a list, and I'm just working through it. That's just what what I um, do sometimes, so I forget about the list, but I'm trying to remember a bit more, but I'm also, I don't know. <laughs> it's been an expensive couple of weeks, i tell you that. Like, fucking, I mean, not that expensive, but I've spent around upwards of around five grand on the car and all the stuff for bath and it, you know you might not think that's too bad but for me um it, it cost me money that i don't really have at the moment <laughs> and i'm trying to i'm going fours and rotors and i've got to fix bath i've got to fix all that stuff that i've already said and uh i gotta sort out where i'm staying at this stage i'm uh I don't know, there's a campsite I could go camping at, but at this stage I'm kind of thinking I might just send it and sleep in the back of my Falcon. Because, <laughs> I mean, they're not too bad. I was just got The main thing I wanted to sort out is, um, just sorting out this bump in the back, just flattening it out. I don't know, just flattening that out with sand, <laughs> just a bunch of pillows, and then, I don't know, hotel cone, you know, sending it cheapest way i could afford a hotel but they're all booked out and uh i could camp but i don't know i'll uh i'll sort that out when it comes to it but at the moment you know oh, it's not cheap <laughs> uh yeah this is gonna be well, it's gonna be my daily once i get it all off ridge and then i'll be able to do all that stuff like i said to bath um Sorry, hopefully the wind's not been too annoying. But, uh, I will be selling this. I can't remember if I said, but yeah, it was just a fixer upper. And I'll sell it, move on to the next thing. I'll probably buy another Falcon, fix that. And I'm just gonna kind of do what I was doing a couple of years ago when I buy and fix stuff up and sell her on. Make them all mint and nice. This one I put quite a bit more work than I usually do into one. Um, but. I'll probably, if you are interested, I'll probably be listing this on the higher end at seven grand. I don't really expect to get seven, but I'm not really in a rush to get rid of it. I've done a lot of work realistically for the car itself and what I'm in. Like, I, I, I don't know, I'll just, I had all that stuff already, but realistically, I'm about five deep into it, but not really because I already had that shit. But I won't give you specifics, but. I'm about five grand into it, and uh, so I'm looking to get on the higher end seven grand. I don't expect to really get seven grand, but I think it's worth seven grand. These wheels, all the work I've done, the body's probably that's not too bad. It's got the old little scrape. I mean, it's it's twenty one year old car, but I mean for a twenty one year old car, it's not bad. Um, I've still got to you know, put fog lights in, polish the headlights. And uh, just fix the bumper sag, which I don't know, it's all stuff I sort, and then I gotta give it a nice clean. I'll give it a polish, and probably mainly on the roof, and maybe on the hood to get just want some of those light scratches out. Out, but yeah, if you are interested, I will be looking at around seven grand for it. I am in no rush to sell it. It is a nice car, and I will enjoy dailying it. Um, if you're wondering how many Ks are on it, she's a bit up there. I mean, for some people, it kind of scares them with high K cars. Falcons, I know they're reliable, so I don't really, I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> um, I've had higher K ones, but this one has 280, a little over 287,000 Ks. So, yeah, each to their own. I've had high K Falcons in that, the, that blue wagon with the LPG motor that had like 330,000 Ks. Um, my first XT, BA XT that I had, had like 330,000 Ks. And it never phased me. 
Um, like this one's been, and before me it's been well taken care of, but um, and I've just taken care of it and given it a big service. Probably the only thing I haven't done that I'm, you probably should do is probably service the transmission, but it drives mint. They say to service it every 300,000 k's and she's coming up on it, but uh, each to their own. It's like <laughs> Simon Chain. You never have to do one of them. They say every 300,000 k's. I would personally never bother, bother about doing one. It's cheap enough to just buy. Like it's it's cheaper to buy a new motor than it is to do all that. So just enjoy it. The same with like the transmission. You buy a pretty low K ones for like I don't know, a low K one might cost you like 500 to 800. I'm not too sure on the old BTR market, but yeah, I haven't had to buy a transmission ages. Last time I bought one was um for my mate's one, which was 300 bucks. He's got the same color one. But um, anyway, long enough video as it is, so I'll end it here and we'll work on bath and we'll, we'll get this thing all goods to go on the next one. Just gives me more content. Hopefully you shouldn't have to wait as long for the next video, but uh, nah. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.